In just a very few days, I'm going to be sending to you a brand new book that the Lord has put in my spirit and in my heart. The name of the book is called The Essential Alignment of Priorities, Paradigms, and Purpose. Not long ago, I presented this to our state overseers in our meeting in Orlando, Florida, and I felt in that conference the necessity of getting this book into your hands. This book flows out of the finished commitment. A year ago, I shared with you that vision at the General Assembly and the corresponding book that followed right after that, where I talked about how we finish the Great Commission by finding the lost, interceding in prayer, networking together, investing in church planning, sending laborers into the harvest, and then just reaping that great harvest. And what a year it has already been. It's been a great year of harvest. In this year alone, 207 new churches have been planted in North America. That represents a 100% increase over the previous year and years before that. In this last year alone, over 550,000 people have had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ in Church of God altars. That is a tremendous victory report and so many other things I could talk about. But while I talk about the exciting things and I talk about the great breakthroughs that God is giving us, I'm also aware that there are challenges, there are roadblocks, there are issues that the church must continually deal with or at least be willing to address, admit, and talk about. Over the last several months, I've been bringing you a series called Let's Talk About It. Sometimes I've done that by video, sometimes I've done that by printed pamphlet or little booklets. But what I'm holding in my hand right now in that series, I believe is the most important document that I will have prepared for you in this last year. Now I will admit to you, I've not mailed anything to you at all. We usually go digital, we use email and press releases via internet. But this is so important that we are going to cover all mediums of delivery. This is gonna be made available to you digitally. It's also gonna be made available to you by US mail. You will receive in your hand very shortly this little booklet. When you get it, I want you to prayerfully read it. It's only 54 pages, but it's 54 pages, I believe, of vision and mission coming from the heart of your general overseer and your executive committee. In this little booklet, I talk about doctrinal affirmation. I talk about visional actualization. I talk about generational assimilation. I also talk about ministerial activation, and then I talk about spiritual acceleration. And under those several headings, I list 25 things that I believe we must talk about. Now, some of these can be handled administratively. Some of these items we're gonna to need to talk about at the General Assembly. Some of them will need nothing more but simple affirmation. Some of them will need amending. Some of them will need more consideration for more study. But I really believe if we're gonna finish the Great Commission and if the Church of God is going to be a church that impacts this century and even generations to come, we must carefully look at a urgent realignment of priorities, paradigms, and purpose. And the 25 things that I talk about in this booklet, I believe are part of that consideration. This is not an exhaustive list. When you see it, you're gonna ask yourself, well, why didn't he put this in the list? Why didn't he talk about this? Uh, we'll get there. But I do believe the things that I do list are important and are a beginning place for us to have kingdom-oriented conversation on how we can expand ministry in the Church of God and make a difference. Now, let me just say also with this, that when you receive the booklet, we will also launch a video series where I talk about these things. And every day, Monday through Friday, and we'll announce that date shortly, but every day, Monday through Friday, there will be a small segment where I talk about portions of this book with you. It'll be the dialogue we had in the overseers meeting, the presentation that I made there. I want you to feel that passion 
I want you to hear my heart that was shared that day. So be watching for this booklet. It's coming soon. When you get it and after you read it and after we work through it together, I will want to hear from you. You, you can contact me at my office through my email. You can even call. I'll be glad to dialogue with you. But just know that it is the beginning of a conversation that I believe we must have for us to move forward in what God has for us as a vibrant Pentecostal church making a difference in this world. Know that I love you. I look forward to dialoguing with you in the very near future. God bless.